Hey guys, I'm Mel, and today I'm going to do a my birthday book haul. So I don't do a lot of book hauls on my channel, mainly because I don't buy physical books as often as other people, but I wanted to do this because I got so many books on my birthday. I bought some and I got some presents and I wanted to show it to you. I normally forget how much I love physical books because I normally get my books on Kindle and I love my Kindle, I love reading books on Kindle, but sometimes I just want to have like, I just want to touch the pages and you know, smell the book as weird as it sounds. So Talking about my Kindle, so if you want me to do a tour of my library, let me know because I have like 400 books there just because I've had it for like two years and a half. So I have so many random books that I thought it would be boring, but so let me know if you would like me to do that. So the first book I got, I, I didn't get it for my birthday, but I wanted to show it to you because it's very dear to me. The Beautiful Cassandra by Jane Austen. Now Jane Austen is one of my favorite authors from, of all time. I thought I read all of her things, but when I saw this, I was like, okay, why nobody told me that this existed? This is a short story that she wrote for her family when she was a teenager. It sounds really funny. It sounds like something very satirical. There is a thing that I love about Jane Austen. She always has like that humor. Sometimes you don't get it, but when you think about it, it makes you laugh a lot. And this is my first Penguin Little Black Classic, and I'm so excited to read it. Then I got Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. This is a classic that I've been wanting to read forever because everybody loves it. And I actually read it for the Generaton this month. This is a book about two guys who are in the valleys of California and they are trying to find a job there. And it's about their relationship and their relationship with the surroundings. It's a very interesting and deep book that I'm going to talk more about in my wrap up next week. I got why it's so many people's favorite classic. Then I got the Undomestic Goddess by Sophie Kinsella. And I think I've read one other book by Sophie Kinsella before, but this was so cheap and I wanted to give it a try. This is about a girl who is a lawyer, I think, and then she, I don't know how she gets a job as a housekeeper, but she doesn't know anything about housekeeping. And I know I'm going to read it at some point because I don't, I don't like having physical books on read. I don't like having any kind of books on read, but, but physical books are my priority. Then the lovely note from Happy Comes First, who is one of my best friends in booktube and outside of booktubes. I just adore her. I always love talking to her because she's so smart. She got some things for me, so I wanted to show you. She got me these Happy Hello bookmarks that are so cute and I've seen them everywhere and she's obsessed with them. These are the Court of Thorns and Roses guys and I love that she sent this to me because and we've had a lot of conversations about this book. <laughs> then she sent me Night Owls by Jen Bennett and I saw this book on her channel and I immediately was like super obsessed with it. I think it's about a girl and a boy who meet in a night bus and they have like conversations and stuff. So it sounds super cute and fun and thoughtful. Then she also got me The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan and this is a collection of short stories. I'm sure you've heard about this because everyone says how brilliant and intense these essays are. I think it's going to be one of my next reads because I'm just so excited to read this. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. So thank you so much, Nog, for this beautiful things. Then I got Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. This is the book that, that everybody recommends for books about mental health. That's the only thing I know about this book apart from the cover being so beautiful. So I really wanted to have this physical copy because I know it has like little drawings. Like I said, I love my Kindle but sometimes I, I need to have this kind of books. Um, in physical form so I can get very into the story not only in the words but also in the drawings then I got some of my favorite books first one is Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Lalita Sands if you know me you know this is one of my favorite books in the world I wanted to have a copy not only because it was it's one of my favorite books but also because it's so quotable and I just want to mark all the beautiful quotes because I'm obsessed with quotes. So I just want to mark everything in this book. I really wanted to reread books this year and so far I've reread zero books. I blame the new releases but 
let's be real, like I, I keep forgetting that these books exist. So that's why I want to have the physical copy, just so I can reread them whenever I want. The other book I got was Ignite Me by Jahara Mafi. And again, if you know me a little bit, you know this is one of my favorite trilogies ever. Again, this is such a quotable book. And I've reread this a few times, but I just want to keep rereading it. I think every time I reread it, I find something new and the cover is just so gorgeous that I can't not have it. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, which was my favorite book last year. And don't judge me because I don't have the, the book with the black pages. I don't have that kind of money and I wanted to reread this as well as the others because the new book is going to come out this year and it's going to be the last one in the duology. So I want to have this fresh in my mind and I want to have the experience of reading it in physical form. Anyway, those are the books that I got for my birthday. I hope you had an amazing day. Hope you liked this. If you did subscribe, I will see you when I see you. Bye!